Hey guys, I know I've been missing, but that's not the point. I'm back. It's over with. <laughs> explain what I'm gonna do everybody keeps saying vlogmas and vlog I don't know I'm gonna really need to do things that everybody do so we're gonna do Christmas with JD that's a that would have been a video like this like a sit down video or like something random because you know that's me and then we're gonna do bucket list Christmas that's where I do stuff on my bucket list my real life bucket list and I take y'all with me so that's what we're gonna do so this video now is I was about to say and I'm going to pay for it. Yeah. Somewhere along the line. Yeah, you know. Mommy with the spoilage and the bald head daddy combo. Yeah. I it's not by it's not I, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Y'all started it, so y'all gotta finish. So somebody marry Diana, please and take her out. All right, so what are we doing today? So today we're gonna do an updated QA because honestly life has changed since the last one. And you guys sent me some good questions so we're gonna answer them and just a little note i have a cough but i don't have covid she got a cough what about it <laughs> all right so i'm going to ask the questions jada will answer most of them um she'll pick which ones she wants me to answer as well because she know me gonna talk all the things that she don't want to get embarrassed so she will <laughs> choose carefully um so first question What's your God-given calling, purpose, or mission in life? Man, all right. You could ask you that one. I don't, I don't know what I'm here. See, I don't know what I'm here to do. I care myself to make people day because people love me, clone up myself, and I don't think that is a gift. That is not a purpose. No, and, and to be honest, I see what her gifts and calling, calling is, and she don't see. So I'm just waiting around to figure it out. Um... She only have a year and a half left to do that though. Can we don't do adult mining or those <laughs> things. So, you know, we wait until she figures that out. But for me, um, I think her gift is creating content. Um, and there is a huge space in, in the world for that right now. Um, I also think she has in, an incredible eye for photography. Um, and I want her to develop that. But we'll wait and see. As I said, she has one year and a half. Um, what's on the Christmas list? Everything. Laptop, phone, everything. Uh, yeah. This, I need to talk about. First this. of all, I will ask that. You have to pay for your Christmas list? I will take Him need to. Yeah. Him, I will. I. Mm. Hear what? No. I want a gold Movado watch. If you don't want to see the exact watch, I'll post on my story. I mean, I ain't asking none of y'all to get it for me, but you know. You want a picture of it or so? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was six bills feet. A cool say, honey, you know. Uh, I want an iPad and a trip to New York. That's want to joy, peace and love and those little things. Nah, man. Nah. Next question. That can't put on that tree. Mm-mm. Um... Well, folks, you're asking if you have insomnia. Clearly, I don't know, Jada. Jada don't sleep at night. What's your favorite ground food? Yam. Yellow yam. What movie can you watch over and over without ever getting tired of it? Parent Trap and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You know, I've never watched Tra um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? The new one or the old one? Wait, none of them. Because isn't that with the guy with the band? Willy Wonka person? Willy Wonka, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's tough. Can't stop watching a movie there. Who inspires you to be who you are? She's beside me. So, I mean, you want to take the blame for this now? Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, it, just, it, it was always... With me, it's nobody. I was just... No, not really no but as in, when I really see nobody where... Mm. No, I think, I think from ever since you were a kid, I've always encouraged you to just express who you are and be who you are. In this world, there's just too much copying and everybody being somebody else that they're not and so it is me think it's important for just be yourself yeah and who like it like it who don't like it mm, whatever 
some people see me up on the internet and I like the picture of them when they see on the internet. Piss off. Right? Oh. Why are you so beautiful? Like Alright, well, from... you could have left out that. So, no, we can't mess that could have stayed. Them people, I got my car. She, he could have answered it, sir. Scratch. That could have stayed. Oh. <laughs> um, somebody's asking what do you want to become in the future? Don't know. I'm thinking I want to be a content creator, but honestly, I am going to just be open. I am very sensitive. I don't know when I became like this. I cannot deal with the hate. I can't. The, the open page and like the fake page and the, uh, it get to me and I have to just come off. So I, I don't know. Man. Hey, Gen Z and, and the later part of the millennial crapping you know, on a soft body now. Yeah. No, what's it? Me, not good. Me, I on a soft body, it's not going to work I, I want to cuss out everybody and that not really works. So it, it's just like, I just try to stay out of that. And Alright, somebody wants to know about your body care routine. Exfoliate and bathe. Yeah. Bathe is important. Some other not bathe. And then the one that may have bathe that splash around. The one that may not bathe always in a machine. It's look here, no man. Um, did that dragon tattoo hurt? Yeah, um, certain oh, parts. Yes. <laughs> no, certain <laughs> parts. No, sir. No, because I said something really shady. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, certain parts hurt. And there's like one part that was fine for like a cool three seconds. But I said to you, as your first tattoo, get a small one. Yeah, but I knew that if the small one didn't hurt, me wouldn't go through. I, 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 yeah, I'll go through. Um, you don't go back. You like those type of pain and punishment. Yeah, me had that. Mommy, the question them the right Yeah, but this question them are handicapness. Lord Jesus. Look how you mash up here. What's your biggest fear? I don't want to say it. Turn. But you said it. You told the people. No, the because, alright. I feel like if I say it, <coughs> yo, yeah, some people that not like me, you know. I feel like if I say it, somewhere I'm going to just make it come true. Like, you know. Mm -hmm. Icky. But what is your biggest fear? Tell me what it is. Nobody not do that. The people that see and know say a problem. Nobody not do that. <laughs> mm mm. Somebody wanted to rate your um your pain in term in terms of tattoos versus piercings. What was the most painful one? The tattoo. The tattoo was more painful than the piercing. I ah uh, I think so. Really? I think so. Do these folks know all your piercings? Does some of them ask. I don't want to say. Oh, I glimpse something. <laughs> Look, I'm the responsible for that part in here. Um, <laughs> what are your pet peeves? If we start talking, nah, I don't. I don't like men who like to flash money. I cannot stand. It's a, that's a real pet peeve. I don't like people who follow, like blatantly their following. Don't like that. I mean, if you can say, Oh, I got inspo from here, that's fine because there's a blueprint for everything. But no, let me not use that word because <clears throat> people who are unnecessarily rude, I hate you. Is that I have a lot of pet peeves? Uh, hmm. Too much, I right? know. My one of mine is just general dunceness. And when I said dunce, I don't mean like book bright versus, you know, somebody who's not so academically inclined. I mean just willful ignorance. Like, just in the school of life generally. You don't know what's going on. You're dunce and proud. Dunce and I'm boasting. And just, yeah, I feel like we're all here. The, the, the life experience is something where you're supposed to learn and try to learn everything you can possibly learn. You know, and in every era of life, so like willful dunce, this is a problem for me. I don't like people that don't try to understand stuff either. Like, if I'm talking to you and you're just not trying to understand, yeah, better with us in the Congo because, mm. right? But then, someone agents, why do I keep doing that? Look here, the whole other something them handicap, just swipe. Oh, somebody wants to know how is life and how is, and, and then the second question was, how is school? Life is good, the only thing that's like pissing off me and the homegirls is school that's it other than that everything is good school better than about that pc off you know 
It's making me mad. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm doing it, but he's making me <coughs> the whole world mad. <clears throat> All right. Uh, quite a few questions about Seriously, school. I, I like that. that. Hey, they want to know if you can do road trip videos. All right. Here's my, is the word dilemma? Yes. All right. Here's my dilemma. I don't know probably doing vlogs, you know. I'm one of them people that will try to live in at the moment as much as possible. I'm trying to step out of that now because I realized that when my aunt died, I have nothing. I don't, I don't really have any memories with her and that's because, oh, I'm just spending so much time and now I pick up the camera and video, video, everything. I, mm. That's not really my thing. Um, also, I'm, I, it's not really everybody wants a camera in their face, too. So I kind of be mindful of those things. So I can try, but they're not going to be long. Okay. At what age do you want to get married? I'm not. <laughs> Wait a Look here, you're for married because somebody else is responsible for you in I mean, this life. I, I mean, can that. have a man's, but the whole shindig and this. You cannot put a ring from a finger. Everybody can come by your last name, but the whole sign and paper. So what? Why? You have so many great examples of marriage already. Like, everybody around you married. Like, all your aunties married. Your, your grandparents have been married for 40 years. That is crazy. I mean, I'm not there with all a man for 40 years if it's a go No, no, you know. have to, no, see, after this vlog, I have to go, um, see, when I look in the camera, but I look like I'm looking, uh, like my eye there, the wrong part. I told you not to look in the camera because your eye there, I'm going to start with twist. I'm yes. not looking at camera, I'm looking at the part here, so. I don't know where me are looking at. Then this is my eye gone, so. Mm. Anyway, at what age do you want to start having children? 25. Me doing the grandchildren nine in mm -hmm. I will send a Christmas money, but yeah. So if you doing kids at twenty five, for me you would need to be married and settled off into I your don't own life. I to get young. married, girl. Oh, I feel like it's so embarrassing to get divorced. Like, please. So what? Did, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not marrying to get divorced, but I know the whole right. possibility. Mm. So divorce is not the same as getting left if you're in just a relationship. Who does left and I does that, but they know say buddy you come at the wedding and no say yo them two people are married and then them just left. Mm. So mm. this shit happens, life happens. So me not understand. <laughs> Better me just nobody go through that. Oh god. Yeah, tell you with that dark after that. Never just why you grow up like a bit because you know it is what it is. But then you, when you decide to get married to somebody, you've experienced that person and you realize that. Yeah, man, I have every single thing that you want, but the qualities that he does possess are those that you refuse to live without. Mm. That's how I picked. Mm. There were just some things that were non-negotiables, and I them them thing that me not plan for live without. Me not married. Me never did plan for my ride the shade glasses go. I on. mean, please, because y'all is just talking crazy right now. Anyway, I have nothing to say because when one little man come out the place and smitten and sweep off her feet, I hear he said, Mommy, I'm going to find wedding money. So, I didn't look at it right now. Do you want a sugar daddy? Um, I got two of them. I got the boy head daddy and the spoiled mama combo. Like, please. You have no sugar daddy. Some of them man, if you just. Well, I'm like a cholesterol tablet. I'm telling you. And just relax themselves. If y'all was in my DM, y'all would have wondered how I turned on half those opportunities. But one girl at the DM got answer. <laughs> Me, personally, as yeah, a person. I know the girl would be there just uh, Dubai mood a day. And them trip the cold over vlog. Oh. But nah. No, because a lot of these girls go over the bag or do something strange for a piece of change. So, no. Dubai off the list right here. So, no, till I can pay for. Oh. Spicy, do you have a boyfriend? Hmm. <laughs> Bestie, <laughs> and we know what we know. All right, moving on. Oh, I'm going to answer that. No, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> I have a husband and baby father. What baby father? Is no, not your father. I know. Oh, my husband is I also know. baby four four. Oh, would you do a what's in my sanitary bag video? Sure. That I mean, would be interesting. 
Now I don't really go anywhere, so like I don't have a need to pack a sanitary bag, but I could. Or a hand. What's in your in your handbag with you? Because like you could really hand. legit lose your hand in my bag. I don't. I like don't, people I must let me just go around and shoot them and in my bag. You will lose your I can show you what's in my spray gun, but I don't have a handbag. I'm not a girly girl. Is, see, we have a misconception that handbags are only for girly girls. No, I look stupid holding a handbag. Like, I don't know if you forgot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord, them things. They give me a backpack. Guys, I feel like I failed in this department. Ava is a girly girl. Right, but like, what you have against it? Like, Mommy, you are a girl. When we huh? usually wear mommy ears, I'm a rat, I'm a rat, and I'm a rat, and I'm a walk off the heel boot and fight. And look here. Girls. No, because. She was like around five, six, where she used to wear my shoes. Just in the yard after school, she out, I trampled down the wall at the driveway with my shoes then. And I had these, these um, knee-high boots that I used to wear. You know, out, I had a couple of them, but the black one. So, of course, Jada wear them all the time, and we carry them back inside. Me, I inspect none. Look here. I went to one of those. You know, them odd people party. One of them, all, as a man, it's an all-included party. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said, and we are yeah all inclusive, right? And me in at the party, and I was headed to the bar to get a drink. I'ma notice, you know, me walk nice, and then all of a sudden, me start walk so <laughs> right? Me eel drop off. Is that good? I didn't. I, I normally I have my purse with a pair of flats in there. This time I didn't. I had to go to the ladies' room, <laughs> right? Take off the, the boots, fold them, stuff them down in the in the rubbish bin. Call my friend who I came with and say, yo, you have flats? She did, but I wear seven and homegirl wear nine and a half. So I was yeah. missing yeah. uh, clip it, clap it through the dance. My slippers loaded on the music by this time. <laughs> so, you know, I had it on for a cool 30, sec 30 minutes and then she said, I foot her time. So I said, well, me ready. <laughs> and it's me at the taxi fare. So we had to go. We is out. So we had to leave. So yeah, that was. I didn't know how we got to that story. Oh, somebody asked, can you do an advice video with your mommy? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love y'all. Why? Why if you say so? Advice of why? No, they would have to ask. Like what? Bully? Because you know, I got a lot to say. <coughs> you got a lot to say in terms of what? Give advice. Oh, bullying. Yeah, well, class, you know, yeah, and talk some different things. Wait, wait, that's not the energy. Oh, wait. all the shade. You can't know, say me a bullet. So, wait, that's <laughs> not the energy. <laughs> wait, hold on. Um, yeah, I'm open to doing that. Um, so having you know lived for quite a few years, but almost no, me not, no, me not half century yet. Me yeah, always yeah. to go, girl. You know, say no, no, we're not strong. Panem at all, and ask the hard question. Would you do promos for black-owned companies? For sure. Can I take? Wait, wait. Let's not just run up and say for sure. Um, I work in advertising, right? And so, um, I'm getting Jada to the place where she understands brand and branding and and brand alignment. So, like. It wouldn't make sense for her to advertise a waist trainer brand. Waist on nickel. Because she don't have no waist. Yeah. And for people like me who do have a waist now, which is new to me, my wants is somebody with belly look like mine. Try it on and see if it work. Because if she, it no, it don't help me to do anything. It don't tell me anything. It don't inform me about nothing. Because she don't have any waist to all in. Mm. You know? So, little by little, she's learning those things. And then, you know, how you curate your page. When, 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 you know, a brand approaches you, they already see what you bring to the table. And then you now have your bargaining power to say, this is what I charge. So I'm getting her to the place where she understands the value and what to charge and so on. But yes, she's open to doing that. But if your brand is a schedule and it's... Long. Yeah. I'm saying, no, there's some hard question around this, though. Where? Yeah, so. Jesus! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Watch spirit I walk up and down. Do you plan on mm. getting more tattoos and piercings? Definitely. Who is encouraging this? We like to be more. How do you end a toxic friendship or relationship? Block them. 
<laughs> so I've been trying to get her to get to a place where she understands that people behave how they behave because of pathology history um you know them worldview how they were raised whatever i just feel like once you piss me off it's over it's over with you can't be serious no like no no seriously in in a type of way where if you make me feel disrespected or some type of way or or you pull me out of character to a point where i'm doing stuff that i used to do that i don't want to do no more start pre you mm. because it's almost like you're trying to trigger me you see that's the thing you don't make people know your triggers and and and, and, I, and I feel like when you say certain things words for me hurt worse than if it knock me out so mm. no but there's also value in being vulnerable and being open and so people will know your triggers right because that's how you make real connections and real friendships and real relationships I'm good after but you know me. I don't run for people dead to me and bury people and move along. Yeah. But it is with, you know, after having discussions or deciding, okay, this is what I don't like. Disrespect doesn't, isn't tolerated at all. So you get this, this moment where I tell you, um, you may get a sec, may get as like a second thing. But after that, we, we over dove cut. You, it's finished. If I talk to you about the same thing over and over, if I, or if I talk to you and I realize that, I realize that you're just saying stuff to get under my skin right now, and then you feel like you don't need to apologize, you need to just show up, and you need to just show up and not apologize, then I mean, you can't be my friend. You can't, they wrong. No time. Yeah, but there, there's also value in, in, in talking things out. As I say, people act out from a place of hurt, from whatever is happening in them life at the time, whatever is happening there. So, no, I know it have nothing to do with Mommy, you. I'm trying to heal. If somebody is pulling me out of character constantly, have me doing things that I don't need to be, I just can clip it off. Yeah, no, constantly fine. Or if we're talking but, and I realize that we're just not getting there and you just use a, you just use a, a thing and you just, I just, I be rude now. Like, you, we're not getting there, so you're just being rude. I mean, nah. All right and i get that right but and that's from that for that for me is like arbitrary folks or folks who are just acquaintances or you know mm. colleagues right but if somebody's your friend friend right and they you know they have their own shortcomings you know they have their own issues in their life and why they behave certain way why them do whatever um isn't there in your mind some value I'll in talk having about fine but certain certain things no yeah, there's some behaviors that I will say to you, don't accept. Mm, People don't who care. are um, unwilling to apologize. Sometimes there's going to be a time. No, I, you, I can you, accept apologies that I've never gotten. That's what I was about fine, to say. There's and move on and apologize to myself about what happened and everything and allowing people to handle you a certain way but i mean i move on it's dead after that i'm sorry if i realize that in in the situation i could have handled it a bit different or i could have whatever I'm, i'll reach out to you if you don't hold my hand and meet me in the middle you're not here from me again come here that oh, me i mean i'm learning i'm still healing i'm right. in the process so i mean that's that's on my brain there right now. If I really care, I'll come back to the table and say, you know, say, yo, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Try not to even talk if, to people and I'm upset too. Yes, please. And even if there is no reconciliation to be had, even if we will never be friends again, you say what you need to say, them say what they need to say, and they can move on. And there's no subs and shading on the internet. Mm. On Beyonce, good, good internet. Jesus. We say the spirit move. Yeah, man. We get a quick name. You know, yes. <laughs> right so i mean um if somebody's really your friend i feel like if it touched the media it's <laughs> over yeah no i don't know why people have to always go to social yeah, media i can continue so. doing the whole media it's, it's just lame so i mean you can you can have that Watch well it. somebody said i got me just to double read now <laughs> well before we get to the spice oh what advice can you give to someone who wants um to start a relationship uh, be friends first mm. get to know people because i'm telling you there's going to be a time like, if you don't get to know them there's going to be a time where they're going to show you crayon when they're in the box some color when they're in the box be somebody's friend first get to know them 
know them to the point where you know that if something is off with them you, rep you pick it up same time don't start a relationship and based off sex please huh? don't start it like that i mean yeah because those never you know because when you're minus the sex what's really there and when mm. when we've seen all the moves yeah Oh, uh, yeah, and all the disabilities. I mean, you know, it's a lack of moves <laughs> <laughs> that we finish, you know. Um, and I, I want to add to that. Um, I should say, get get you know, get to know the person first and be friends. Um, but know that you do it when you're already whole, yeah. When don't you step first? into a relationship looking for the other person to make you whole, don't go into a relationship with open wounds because all you're going to do is bleed by the people and son can... or bleed by the people and daughter yeah so and, and I fix think, all of that before yeah you can't depend on other people this is so it's who that run this now hello so my cat and dog fight i mean <laughs> every night hello do you know what i can somebody in my backyard like, Jesus. Do you think? but i mean Friend or luck. for friends and relationships i believe that you should you cannot depend on the next person to make you happy you can't depend on the next person for something that you should give yourself because people die things happen and when them gone they're going to take whatever with them and you're going to be left in pieces and i don't think that makes any sense yeah all right um and so yo you see in your in your in your in your late teens and in your 20s that is the time to really get to know yourself to decide what you want for your life um and then you steadily do the re-evaluations when you get to 30 you re-evaluate because 20 year old jade and 30 year old jade are two different people you know you want different things um I, I 19 year old jade and 20 year old people because at the start of this year i i i would i would have think right no watching this video at 19 as i'm a hypocrite for saying all these things because i'm i was really not like that but really Make improvements with certain things. Yeah. Yeah. But you're proud about it because trust me. Mm -hmm. Watching from the sidelines sometimes, my wife said, "Then you know, she say, I this need for up and this need for stop, and it run away, cut off, you know." But um, a part of being a mom, and I think a, a good mom is allowing you to, mm -hmm. with with guidance, just to learn because. When I explain the things to her, she, it's kind of foreign to her. But when, when I allow her to connect the dots for herself, and she'll come and tell me, Mommy, so and so, I'm look on her like, mm -hmm, but you see, I told you this, that's that today when we're in the supermarket and we're having that talk. I told you. Yeah, I know. So, I told you this. Yeah, so I have to just make her connect the dots on her own. And hopefully, your parents or your, you know, whoever you go to for advice or whatever allows you that kind of space. Because when you learn a lesson, um nobody can take that from you i wonder it, if we should do a you know? part two because this is like 30 minutes long i've never had a video this long even if my vlog things so weeks i've never had a video this long and i'm not i'm not I don't think i'm cutting anything out either all right so it's a part two for this should i do a part two and I have more questions no yeah we do dang yes man I'm gonna do a part two so let me tell you the requirement coming out of this letter i say easy you know, now I'm one of them say, oh, get me to 5,000 likes. I mean, I ain't there yet. So I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna hold you. But, mm, we can continue the discussion in a bowl. We we'll add some spice. <gasps> so, if this, if I get to 700 subscribers, I don't know how much I have right now, but I'm putting that 700. Don't post that 700 they have already. I don't know. <laughs> spicy part no 700 is a drag honestly because i have like 600 all right so let's say let's get to 50 or like 620 I'm, I'm, the bar is low <laughs> and i may say the thing not up all right get us to 700 get her to 700 subscribers and then we'll drop part two as with the we add in spice some of them question are all tired. I don't pick them go in the man. I ain't gonna tell, I'm gonna hold y'all. I said spice. I'll be good, man. You ask them question. Yeah. Like, be nice share, subscribe, be nice. Because me, yeah. You are. You nice and me the nice. 
two more can collide we can do this i don't know what to do no no but be nice in my comments and thank you for i'm not gonna say love or not i'm not gonna be mushy but thank you for liking me for who i am because i'm a bit strange and strange i really so appreciate it i'm not gonna lie i mean nobody not even really knows something about youtube and i mean Oh no, no, really run out for me because I don't promote my thing. Like this is all oh no, and I really appreciate it. I don't want to get mushy. See you guys in the next one. Thanks. Um bye.